Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course, this is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? What? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You're a father yourself. Oh, right. <laughs> you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. You should help her. Oh, that should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Are you laughing? Well, me and my daughter fight every day. Why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. It's just normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave those things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. It wasn't like this before. Before it happened. Uh, you mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are pretty dangerous. It ain't easy. But you got us to understand each other better. Much as I hate to admit it. Conflict is always the best way to know somebody. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom is around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad? He has lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this has happened a lot? Well, why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. <laughs> Using my job as an excuse. Well, I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both got to resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kind of understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Oh, thanks, Steven. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I do have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, well, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say, I'm an adult. Just give your time to think, Miss Rachel, and try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. Well, I'm not sure about that. Well, 
take your time. But now, now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late, and I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But you don't need to talk to your father right away. Let's go straight to your room. At least you know you, at least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace of mind. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. <laughs> you're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? Uh, in the western part of Neko Town. Oh. That's quite far. You're still gonna drive me home, right? Uh, old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, I'll be off then. Thank you, Vincent Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Vince. I love the fact this is supernatural and like I can be I can be a wolf barista. That is amazing. Like the model you see in front of you right now, I I just imagine myself with like a you know, a an apron serving coffee. Well, and there they went. Yeah. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. Well, that's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Oh, well, why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go get a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. Not exactly employee of the month. Well, you never know. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Ugh, the pressure. Sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. Well, the door's always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then. Take care. Be careful on your way home. Friday, September 25th. Oh, look! Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning a legal fury sedative. The Orcish Workers Union in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra. Ah, get it? Get it? Street Orchestra. <laughs> this is so stupid! questioned over their pro eco-terrorism lyrics i hate it i hate it i love it but i hate it all right time to read conversations again i love this oh mr hyde is back are you by yourself tonight sir angelo is coming after his shift hmm it's pretty empty here uh, well you're our first customer tonight uh, is there something wrong? Uh, nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say R. When obviously there's only you here. Oh. Well, it's just me. But when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. Well, what do you want to drink tonight? Hmm. What do you have? Do you have any blood? Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on. Did you think I was serious? Oh, 
Uh, no. Give me another ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Very bitter. All right, I guess that's it. Hey, Lauden, how you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. Hi, right, Olivier. Good to know, man. Your drink is ready. Uh, let's see. Good. Glad you like it. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, ask away. You said you're here for work? Oh, yes. For a couple weeks. Not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? <laughs> Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... What's the word? Something so honorable as that. What? Then are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se, but definitely not as honorable as working in the hospital. Then, uh, what is it? Yes. You travel a lot. Oh, have a good night, Adam. And thank you so much for all of those bits and those subs, you heckin' good, adorable dog. Much love to you, dude, and have a wonderful rest. You travel a lot. Huh, more or less. You've befriended a startup founder. So I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had my, uh, I've had many career paths in my life. It got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. Didn't expect that. But you have the looks in that figure. So I guess it makes sense. <laughs>